When I met Catino on my visit, I remember him saying to me, Tyson, we're gonna be the best one-two punch in the country. And I'm looking at him like, uh, I just met you. I told Tyson, I said, listen, me being left-handed, you're left-handed. I think we can be, if not the best, one of the best backcourts in the country. And he was like, yo, what are you talking about? You're crazy, dude. A tremendous backcourt. They've always felt that they could play against whoever you put in front of them. Along with Preston Murphy, who gave you as good a backcourt as you're gonna see in the country. Like, people always ask me, where did you get those guys from? Well, first of all, they were a little bit on the small side. Catino was a little bit on the slow side. And so a little bit this, a little bit that. And it's like, oh, no, no, no. But all together, it was pretty dynamic. You know, you got to give Coach Skinner a lot of credit for recruiting the type of personalities that he did because it's not just about good basketball players. You have to recruit people that have an understanding and are willing to make sacrifices and come together. We went to the NIT, then we went to the NCAA tournament our sophomore and junior year. They told me that, oh, we got a top 25 team. and. And you know, coming from a booster, I would say, well, you know, you got to temper that just a little bit. That sparked my interest. It was a change for us. So like, you know, there was a transition period for us where we had to get used to the things that he wanted and, and we had to do the things that he wanted us to do on the floor. It was unbelievable how they responded when we got on the floor. And everybody listened and everybody bought in. First three years, I was either one or two in assists, so I did pass the ball, but he wanted to be more mindful of getting the other guys involved and, and running the offense, you know, driving and drawing the defense, dropping off to Luther Clay, who was a big, integral part of our senior year. It was just an absolutely spectacular year. You never want to be the 8 9 and C because you got to run into Kansas. They were sending us to Oklahoma, and I remember all of our guys, you know, we wanted to go to California or something, and we was like, Oklahoma? And the coach Terry was like, shh, quiet, Dean. People can hear you. We played Murray State, and, and we just had a marvelous game against them and uh, beat them really, really good. And I remember everyone wanted to play Kansas because, again, we were a very confident group, and we felt that we could beat Kansas. They were the best team in the country. They were Paul Pierce, Rafe LaFrance, and nobody thought that you or I was going to beat them in the second round. Harrod was a master motivator. He had a really inspiring way of getting you to kind of pull your best out of you. I remember before that game, I'm walking out past here, and, and I hear him say to the ref, hey, it's a big game for you, buddy. And I remember the referee having this look on his face. I was like, wow, he's motivating him too. Their guards were good players, not great players. They weren't as quick as my guys. And as soon as the second half started, I noticed they came over half court and they're going to they're going to go right for the jugular. And I said, hmm, that's interesting. And we put two in the corner and we just spread the floor. And I said, spread the floor and take them. You know, the guards, we were taken apart. We got these dudes. Katino always had that confidence that he would be the best player anytime he stepped on the court. He wanted to go at them and make sure that we were going at them. There were not anybody in college that could guard Tyson Wheeler one-on-one -on -one if you pressed him. Luther Clay was playing well, Antonio, Josh King hit some shots. Preston came in and played really well. David Arababu, who was our bruiser and bully, was knocking those dudes around and Catino was Catino. I just remember Josh King just stepped up uh, on the wing and really kind of put the nail in their coffin. You got to see the best attributes of everybody in that one game. It was just a celebration. I said, Valpo, who? And they were all involved with, like, hey, hey, don't get ahead of ourselves. But it was a tight game. It came down right to the end, and we shot and missed. And Antonio Reynolds Dean got the rebound, went up for a layup, made it, got fouled, and that put us up five and we won the game. Going that far, going from seven and 20 to the Elite Eight, we were a great knit group. We all liked each other, we all fought for each other, and we all learned and grew throughout the years, and we learned how to win. I wish I could relive that moment, that month and a half, two months, just being on campus. It went so fast. If we'd have had to bounce the ball to go to the final four, in my heart of hearts, we, might not have won it, but we really had a great chance to win it. And I think we could have played with all those teams at the Final Four, and we really might have had a shot at winning it all.